Truth be told, there are worse reasons to get married. Come on. Hey guys, it's G from the F Word here to review Love Per Square Foot. Now, simple premise, two people that can't get loans to buy their dream place decide that, hey, if we get married, we could buy this like a married couple, everything joined, 50-50, get our dream place, and then live our lives. The thing is, it's not really easy to manipulate the system, and there's a little bit more to it that they eventually end up finding out. So right off the bat, our two main characters, Sanjay and Karina, are great. They have great chemistry together. Karina is this strong and sarcastic, intelligent woman, while Sanjay is more of your dreamer. He has these aspirations, and he just thinks, no, I can do them out of whatever he thinks in his mind, he can pull everything off. And he doesn't always have all the facts that he needs to go forward, and he goes forward anyways, which is where Karina is, and be like, no, you kind of can't do this, you can't do that. They end up meeting at a wedding, and they hit it off, which, you know, you could tell right away there was that instant connection, but Sanjay does have a really toxic relationship with his boss, who's kind of had him on the hook for a while. With all that going on, these two really popped, and they carried this whole thing because this could come across as a really a generic movie but because of their chemistry it does add a little bit more there is something more special to it because of these character their humor is great their, their chemistry is really good everything about these two just you just root for them you like them and they're two different humors like i said sanjay being more of the aloof dreamer while karina is more of the intelligent sarcastic one and it's just really great to see the other characters in this uh, specifically their parents are really great too any interaction with the parents was awesome specifically Sanjay's dad love that guy to death such a sweet sweet man and you could tell that Sanjay's mom always keeps the family together she is the strength there and it's just really great seeing those relationships and not only that but the parents add a grounded element to both of these dreamers because they are dreaming of getting this place together so that they can move on this is what it means to be an adult is getting your own place and then that's how you can have a successful life it's it's almost like a tale of labeling what success and what growing up actually is but the great part about it is having the parents there that do provide them with some insight as to yes you can have these things but we're also here we are your family we want you to succeed, but, you know, don't disregard us so quickly. And I think that was an underlining theme that was going on. The setting in Mumbai is gorgeous. The colors are beautiful. The city is alive. Everywhere they shot, there was, there was a lot of things going on. You know, these are just people living out their lives, and there's a certain kind of music in the air from the hustle and bustle is really captured in this really well and as i mentioned the humor before it's not just our main characters it's also the people around them when they wanted to get the papers drafted up like their whole marriage document or their marriage license and everything the guy there was really funny the people they work with the cab driver had some humor in it just the people around this thing it being a romantic comedy it is funny but it felt like a very organic humor that these people would possess and the music. So there's some musical numbers in here, which is really cool. Now, I come from a Greek background, and a lot of the Greek movies that I watch always have musical segments in there to put the stamp on what the characters are feeling. Kind of an internal monologue that's produced out with these this beautiful music. And the music in here is beautiful. I will say a couple of times the comedy doesn't land always. They did use some fart humor early on which I'm so glad they did it then and they dropped it because I don't know if I would have been able to handle them going with that. It's only once or twice, and when it happened, I was just like, eh, whatever. It's not my type of humor. It does tend to add conflict to extend the runtime. It is a long movie. There are some parts that are added in here that I felt unnecessary. Now, you may not think that, but for me, it was like they could have not used this because ultimately it didn't go anywhere. And it was just 20 minutes out of the movie that they didn't need and they could have shortened it up just a tad. The last thing I'll say on the negatives is there is a weird thing going on here where they are speaking their native language. However, they do cut in English terms and I don't know if this is common. I was expecting just... You know, they're in Mumbai, they're going to talk their language the entire time, but some full sentences or some ending points in a paragraph or something were said with 
the, 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 the actors themselves say it in English and it kind of took me out. Let me know if I'm wrong on the style or if this is common because again, I don't know and forgive me for that, please. But it just felt it took, it, it just took me out of it. I was hoping that it was just going to run the entire time with just their native language the entire time because they're in Mumbai. There's no need for them to talk English with themselves or other people. But again, this could be just plain ignorance on my part. Let me know. It was just one of those things that I noticed that again, took me out a little bit and you know, you kind of lose a little of those nuances and the, and the beautiful notes that each individual language has. This is a pretty cute, pretty charming movie. A lot of it is banking on our two main characters because if they didn't have as good a chemistry as they showed on screen, I do not think this would be as good. It would be another run-of-the-mill romantic comedy with an interesting concept of so the two main characters carried the whole thing but i did like a lot of what this had to offer it is cute it is charming i think it's definitely worth checking out and it's definitely worth your time that's my quick review of love per square foot let me know what you think in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts make sure you're following entertain facts on instagram you can get in our live show that's done every week every friday at around 8 8 30 depending when we all get off work you can find me on twitter at the f words g you can email us at the f word podcast at gmail.com and until next time I'm G and I am out.